Question number 9 is as follows. A horizontal cylinder is given where a frictionless piston divides it into two different zones. One side there is gas with parameters P1, V1, T1 and another side a spring which is initially relaxed. Now if the spring is initially relaxed, out of this particular situation conclusion can be drawn that there must be gas on this side which is exerting the pressure so that both the pressures would equalize and the piston is at rest. This side it is ideal monoatomic gas. Now the gas is slowly heated to temperature T2, pressure P2 and volume V2. During this process the piston moves out by a distance x ignoring friction. These are the conditions given. If V2 is 2 V1, T2 3 T1 we need to calculate the energy stored. Likewise, the change in internal energy, work done and heat supply. Now, this particular question has insufficient data because we know initially the spring is relaxed and the piston is at rest. It means pressure from both the sides have equalized. But the nature of the gas on the right chamber, the law according to which it gets compressed and other factor is not given. So, therefore, we will not be in a position to calculate the energy stored in the spring during that particular compression. So out of this given data only option B can be calculated because option B is straightforward. The final volume is given, final temperature is given. By using PV equals to nRT we can also calculate the final pressure and delta U is P2 V2 minus P1 V1 by gamma minus 1 where gamma would be 5 by 3 would exactly give us this particular value of change in internal energy. So this particular question would have answer B. However, if we make a small modification on the question from our own part then option number A, B and C all would be correct and we would be in a position to calculate the work done as well. And the modification is something like this. If we open up the right chamber to atmospheric pressure so that a constant pressure would be exerted from this direction. Now we can easily calculate the work done, we can easily calculate the heat supplied as well because the change in internal energy can be found out. So in that situation option A, B and C would also comply with the given parameter. However, in that case it has to be clearly specified that the right side has exposure to atmosphere and it exerts constant atmospheric pressure.